everyone. It is Saturday, November 9th, in the year of our Lord, 2013. How are all you doing out there? We are doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome. Wicked awesome indeed. Today's show is brought to you by our very dear friends over at Lucy's. Lucy's Big Burgers. Our good friends Robert and his better half, Amy Graven. Great Christian folks. Great um, food connoisseur. Uh, they are legends. He makes the most incredible food. She makes the most incredible ice cream. His habanero barbecue sauce is out of this world. Her homemade ice cream, incredible. You need to get yourselves on down to 1881 North Treadway down here in Yeha, Texas. Otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. That's right. And folks, always a pleasure. It was great being there last night, getting stuffed on great food. I brought my friends with me and my love goddess and my little princess. Go ahead. We got something special. See, proof that we were there. The love doctor and Big McLarge Huge endorse this place. Yes, we do. Even though I look like a schmuck. You always look like a schmuck. But hey, you know what? We love that place. BMH salute. And a love doctor salute. All hail the king. All hail the king. All right. So yes, today's show is all about coming to America. A great movie. Eddie Murphy, Arsenio Hall, James Earl Jones, Eric LaSalle, Allison Dean, Matt Sinclair, um, Jerry Headley, and uh, also, let's not forget, oh, I said Vanessa Bell. You did. Ah, Allison Dean. Yep. There we go. Or did I miss one? No, I did not. Did you say Mad Sinclair? Yes, I did. Uh, we're good. Okay. Let's roll. All right. Roll that bill for me, folks. I don't know about you, but I'm parched right now. So, you gotta have a proper beer consumption apparatus. Proper beer opening apparatus. Today's beer of the day, boys, girls, and it's. There's a lot of them. Hold on. There are a lot of them. We've got the Shoots Brewery out of Bend, Oregon, otherwise known as Southern Washington. Jubilee, a festive winter ale. At 6.7%, this stuff will definitely kick in the face. No doubt about that. This guy here. Third shift amber lager. Out of Fort Worth, Texas. Yeehaw, Texas. 5.3%. Ooh, this stuff looks good. Slightly above average in strength. And for our king, we are going to bring out. What are we going to bring out for you, king? Only the best. Oh, only the best, of course. Best. Good old Sam Adams Boston Lager. Outstanding stuff, 4.7% of absolute wicked awesomeness out of Boston, Massachusetts, the greatest state in the nation. Well, Massachusetts, there wouldn't be an America, period, dot, end of freaking story. Let's take care of the king. Let's take George. care of the king. All hail royalty. Probably. You may pour. Huh? You may pour. Uh, pour. I will. Proper beer opening apparatus, proper technique, as always. Ooh. An awesome pop for the king. Of course. Got to have a great pop for the king. 45 degree angle right into the beer consumption apparatus right over the keyboard. Because... I'm just that damn good. Haven't spelled drop yet. Never have, never will. You're next in line for king. Ah, yes. Even above the prince. That's right. That's why I say to that. Oh, I see how it is. I got the official bear form. Ah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, your highness. Probably opening up as proper technique. Fine pop batter. I don't mm -hmm. care. Just be glad you haven't what? been dubbed the royal penis washer. Ah. Uh. The royal penis is clean, your highness. <laughs> sounds like he's been practicing. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <sighs> Cheers and beers to all of you. Cross, they say in Germany. Goodbye, as they say in Japan. And bottoms up, as they say in Zamunda. All hail the king. All hail the king. Mm. That's some good stuff. I give it an A minus. Oh. Jubilee is an A minus as well. Fantabulous. <laughs> Simply marvelous stuff indeed. Thank you. Well, folks, we got some birthdays and I got to bring mm -hmm. out. Well, we're going to bring out some birthdays first, y'all. Right off the bat, I'm going to burn through these. My man, Richard Mayberry. Happy birthday to you, my friend. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. This is a great man. Mafia Wars, long time. Always helping me out. Much appreciated. Richard, happy birthday to you. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers to you. All hail the king. Oh, hail the king. And the prince. Next on the list. Comical Nav Wizard I worked with in good old Japan. A great man indeed. My man, Sean Root. Ultra cool. Sean, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. And uh, hope you enjoy today's show. I hope you love coming to America as much as we do. 
America, hell yeah. Cheer the Bears, happy birthday, my friend. Celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list, this guy I've known since Farmville. Ugh. And Mafia Wait Wars. I see what we think of Farmville these days. Yes, sir. It is wicked slow. Slower than the brain cells of an average Yankee fan. Uh, my man Tom Hens. Tom, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Happy birthday. Hope life's treating you well. Always appreciate the help. All about wanking schmucks and schmuckettes on the old Mafia Wars. Oh, yeah. Tom, you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers. And cheers to you. Next on the list, this lovely lady is a fine, outstanding graduate. I thought it was Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1993, but she actually moved before then. But she'll always be a vineyarder. Happy birthday, Aaron Layton. How you doing? Is it Layton or Layton? I can never remember. Aaron, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the show. And I've known you since this jacket was almost new. I've had it since 1986. And it still fits. Can you believe that? Hell yeah. I'm also representing 1986. 86 Red Sox World Series. But they weren't the champs. But it is good to be the king. But the Red Sox are the kings. They are the World Series champions. And Aaron, I'll bet you like that too, being a fellow New Englander like us. Well, I mean like me, excuse me. They're not New Englanders. <clears throat> They're just playing one on TV. We'll go with that. Is that true? Is it good to be the king? It is good to be the king. All hail the king. All hail the king. I have all the burgers. I want hey. To <laughs> you see, did last night. I am only the king because my wife is the queen. Now, my man Mike Coulter, I've known this guy over 30 years, Tisbury School, with my brother, 1988, he graduated, and then Martha's Vineyard Beach High School class of 1992. Mike, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. And happy birthday to you, my friend. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Squeeze me. And then, this is a lady I've known for over 20 years. Sadly, she is no longer with us. My good friend, Cora Sibiki. Now, she worked in a, um, in a uh, food hall in California. A wonderful cashier, a wonderful lady, a real sweetheart. And I know her husband, Dave Sibiki. I've known Dave for... Um, over 20 years as well. I actually met him in Mississippi, believe it or not, uh, in a technical school for my job. Not push. Well, 21 years I've known Dave. And Cora, we know you're celebrating up above. We know you're in a better place than us. And Cora, God bless you. We miss you. Happy birthday to you. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. She's originally from the Philippines. Wonderful lady. And the final birthday of the day goes to my man, Jeremy Huther. This guy is like a super ultra geek. AI! Gat dude! That I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Otherwise known as Western Louisiana. Jeremy, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the show. Have a wicked awesome day. Everybody's wishing you a happy birthday. And so are we. Cheers and beers. Alrighty then. Let's get to our first babe of the day. Excuse me. Because we got a lot of babes and hunks for today. Oh, yeah. Including you, the viewers. And, yes, if you ever want to be babe or hunk of the day, please let us know. We will make that happen. But this is a beautiful song sung by Paul Bates. Oh, huh? Oh, huh? She's your queen to let him, be. Let him sing it. Vanessa Bell, baby. Oh, this is beautiful, eh? A queen to be That's her nowadays. That's her nowadays. She is finer than new set of snow tires. Yeah. Me. I agree. That is a fine woe man right there. I don't care what anybody says. That's beautiful. Oh, that she is, too. Any day of the week or twice on Sunday. We'll get some more shout outs in a moment, folks. Damn right. You know, Eddie Murphy was actually ordered by a court to give 19% of his earnings to co write an art buckwall of Martha's Vineyard. 
because Murphy did not give Buckwald credit for developing the story with him. No shit. Oh, look at those legs. That can go on forever. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a lovely smile. I'll tell you, this, this, she's definitely a queen. She has aced and aced, aged gracefully. I'll bet she's aced gracefully, too. Oh, I'm sure she has. Ooh, dang. Not bad, eh? Was that her? Uh, probably. I hope so. Hell, if not, Google Images gets a little GFY for getting it wrong. We don't know, though. We just, can't. Just in case. Just, just in case. case. Speaking of GFY. Oh, hit it up while I show off our babe. Folks, we got something that absolutely uh -huh. shocked the hell out of me. You go, you go ahead and tell us. I got this. I, was, I saw somewhere today, Tom Cruise of all people. Tom Cruise. Like that means anything. I had the nerve to say that his job is as hard as fighting in Afghanistan. Wow. Has that fucker even fought in Afghanistan? Oh, he dropped the F-bomb, kids. I'm Caveat. upset about this. Oh, as we should be. And the rest of this show is probably not going to be kid-friendly. No, so you know. trust us, it won't be. But I detract and I go back on track. Tom Cruise, you may have been a good actor at one point in time, but after that, big, fat, GF1. Not once. Not twice. Nice. Three, times. Three times. Three times a lady. Three times a matey. Mm -hmm. That's how Eddie Murphy said it. That's right. All right, so there's your Vanessa Bell. We're going to bring out our first hunk of the day at this here point. As soon as I... Ah, I burned the nose hairs on that one. Uh-oh, minor technical difficulties. To burn nose hairs. All right, folks, our next one. Uh-oh. Is... Here we go. We remember the most popular part of the whole movie had to be the barber shot. I got a problem. Mighty shot. Oh, well, you better start pouring. Son. And he's a brain cells, the average Yankee fan. That's right. Good thing I got reinforcements. Hey, amen to that. What do we got there? I am drinking a left hand brewing company, 400 pound monkey. Oh, my goodness. That's 400 pounds of monkey. 6.8%. Oh, good strength. We are getting, 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 getting crunk, crunk. Folks, we're going to bring it out. We love this scene. Proper I'm opening after that's proper I'm technique. The greatest body ever lived. Oh, come on, man. What about Joe Lewis? Just listen I'm up, folks. Farmer. Kids block your ears. Don't forget, you remember this, that barber shop scene, Arsenio Hall, our hunk of the day, our first hunk of the day. That's right, he did what Joe Louis asked. Cheers to Bears, doll, y'all. Process they say in Germany, come by, as they say in Japan. Oh, yeah, we loved him in there. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, here you go. Here's a good one. That's him then and now. Yep, yeah, first. That's a good one. That's what I'm talking about. Arsenio Hall with Eddie Murphy. Oh, yeah, we remember that club scene, don't we? But so classic as the old barber. Love, Doctor. <laughs> yes. What do you and Arsenio Hall have in common right now? Um, we're both. What? That ugly well, hairdo. There's not an ugly hairdo. Well, it's better than that hairdo right there, eh? Can you imagine having a hairdo like that? Oh! Oh, dear Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. friend, too. <laughs> oh. Well, 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 well. We, nowadays. Yeah, we love our our senior hall. Another one that's aged very well. He's still looking pretty good. He, would you believe he's like 55 years old now? <laughs> Squeeze me. I know, right? Freeze, you disease, the rhinoceros pizzle. Remember that scene? Yeah, you do. Who could forget that scene? I know. <laughs> Why don't we go for a cool million? <laughs> nah. Nah. You think that'd be too much? Nah. nah. All righty, folks. Um, what I want to do at this here time is... Next song, next song. Next bring out that next song. Next clip. More next clip. of the barbershop, of course. Squeeze me. You must be out of your goddamn mind. Joe Lewis, the greatest boss ever lived. I'll be with you boys in a minute. He was bad in Chester Clay. He bad in Sugar Ray. He bad in... Now, who that's you? The new boy had Mike Mike Tyson. I got a bonus scene over here, man. Oh, okay. Listen up, folks. Oh, there they go. That's right, he did walk your little ass. 
Who's next? Oh, you remember her. Oh, damn, boy, what's that? Some kind of weed or oh, something? Yeah. Weed is my natural hair. I haven't oh, been it's it still going. Huh. Oops. Oh, shit. What Technical difficulties, folks. Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, what's that? Natural hair. Maybe she's been growing it since birth. I don't know. I hope so. Shit, that ain't nothing but on sperm. Tell me how you want to do it. Ain't nothing but on sperm. Off with your head. Uh-oh. Oh. Let's get out of here. King's getting angry. Uh-oh. I don't know what it is. Oh, no, he's, he's getting no. low on beer. That's what it is. Yeah, that'd make me angry, too. I think something about it. Mm. So what's for dinner? Chicken, Chicken enchiladas. enchiladas. Mm. I'm looking forward to it. I've never had her world-famous enchiladas. You will tonight. Mm. And chocolate raspberry cheesecake? White chocolate raspberry cheesecake. Ooh, I'm going to have I it. think it is time to find your queen. White chocolate raspberry I found my queen. I found my queen. Yes, you did. Oh, folks, here you go. Since this girl's kind of a clubber, we're going to go with the club scene. Very <laughs> famous. Allison Dean, that's right. Why, she always gets the good ones, right? Mm. I know, right? Oh, she's good herself. Look at her then and now. Beautiful, eh? Beautiful. Just listen up, folks. Got a lot of scenes from today's movie. Cutouts. Oh, there we go. I worship the devil. <laughs> Some freaky people in New York, probably all Yankee fans. That's the problem. I can't find a man that can satisfy Ooh. me. Now, some guys go hour, hour and a half. That's it. A man's got to put in overtime for me to get off. Damn right. That's what the nerve doctor does. I'm not interested in a man unless he drives a BMW. Oh, got it. Yeah, well, you know, baby, I'm almost single. Mm -hmm. My husband's on death row. Allison Dean nowadays. First date Teresa and I have been on since the doctor separated us. <laughs> Sign these twins. I'm into the group thing. Oh hey, yeah. Love that, love that. I was Joan of Arc in my former life. There you go. Hold on, hold on. Oh, not that one. Two more. My name is Jason, and I'm the best. All the DJs want to feel my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, we're working videos, but really, I'm working oh, on my own. Oh, jeez. I, I like the next one. Because I want to become a pop singer and a rock singer. I write my own song, produce my own song. And then I'm going to try an actress, because people tell me how talented I am. Stuff like that. So then I'm going to write my own stories and direct my own stories. And, you know, I produce the movies I'm doing. Sorry, folks. Uh, hang on, hang on. Best one. Best one. Give it a second, folks. Oh, 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 that's the worst offer they have all night. Wow. Not bad. All hey, right, folks. Dog. Another great scene as I give out some additional <laughs> shout outs real quick. Just listen to both if you can. If not, listen to what's more important. Um, Want to give the trivia question. One of Eddie Murphy's trademarks is to portray multiple characters in the same movie. In what movie did this trend originate? Well, it. Iron Man Mike Taylor, a wicked hardcore uh, fan of the Baron Song Day Facebook page and also a wicked hardcore fan of the St. Louis Cardinals, he nailed it. He said, coming to America. Mike, brother, well done, my friend. Wicked awesome job. He loved Dr. Salute and a PMH. Salute to you. Quick question. Well done, my friend. You said he's a Cardinals fan. Yes. Did he wear Red Sox colors? I, I think he did. 
You think he did? I can't remember if he was in on the bed or not. Hey, if he did, he honored the bed. PMH Salute. Oh, yeah, yeah I totally fine. love Dr. Salute. I honestly can't remember if he was in on the bed, but either way, hey, hell of a World Series nonetheless. Hey, yes, it you, was. Something like that, I need to wake up. I wish they were louder. Yes, I do. I Blanco, do. Texas. Maybe we should be quieter. Maybe. Uh-oh. The king, oh! The king is angry! Where's the other one? The king is angry! The king is empty! Ooh, for the king, we get the king of uh, beers. Belgium. Alright, here we are. Oh, God. 4.9%. One bathroom on this floor. So you're going to have to share it. Here you are, royal beard poor. I'm only a, a prince. A I'm the prince. Oh, really? Yes. My father is the king. Don't uh, ah, fair enough. I'm with his head. Now, this is the place that I was telling you about. It's real fucked up. Got just one window facing a brick wall. One window it's facing a brick wall. Blind, man. Very much they did to the dog. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, you guys are all full here. Cheers and beers. Cheers and beers. You honest? Damn shame what they did to that dog. Ooh. <laughs> Poor dog. Wait a minute. Squeeze me. We will take the roof. Yes. Damn shame what they did to that dog. Yeah, it is. All righty. couple more quick shout outs. Becca Crouch. I know you chimed in on trivia after, but we do support what you said about Tom Cruise saying he's a dumbass. You got that right, girl. How you doing? She's the pride of um, Oklahoma, although I know it's southern Kansas. A great state indeed. And Becca's a real sweetheart of lady. Absolutely wicked awesome. And uh, Becca just wanted to give you a, a random shout and say, Hey, how you doing? And hope you're not... <laughs> I agree. Hope you're not stuck with that Blackberry still. You can actually watch tonight's show. That would be absolutely wicked awesome. So, Becca, I say cheers and beers to you, my friend. And hope you enjoy the show. And then a friend of Becca Crouch... Is actually one of our unofficial sponsors of the show. Yeah. And would be today. But we had to give Lucy some extra love. Our good friend over at Kristen Lynn Photography. Aha. Aha. You recognize that there, BMH. Aha. Kristen Lynn Photography. She's living in Missouri. Or as I like to call it up there, Missouri. Aha. But she is from Oklahoma. Uh, I agree. Bless you, Your Highness. And uh, Kristen Lynn, she's almost ready to have her baby finally. That is absolutely wicked awesome. To the baby. To the baby. Hello. And you know what's cool? <laughs> her husband, or future husband, I don't think they're married yet. I don't remember. If not, they will be. Um, he's actually in the military. Really? He serves our country. BMA Slew. Oh, absolutely. And because he serves our country, so does she. So, there you go, Kristen. Way to go. And thank you for your support. And your man support to keep help keep our country free and to help schmucks like us, oh, and royalty, be able to do a show like this for all of you great fans. The king has blessed it. We're and don't forget, folks, check out Kristen Lynn Photography. It's absolutely phenomenal. She is an incredible photographer, and I've had some photographer friends of mine that have told me that. So yeah. that's saying something. There you go. We drink to you, Kristen. A real sweetheart of lady, always positive messages on the old Facebook. Love it. All right. Quick question. Yes. What does dumb fuck mean? They got me. What's dumb? Hey, you dumb fuck. What's oh, dumb? yeah. Jake Steinfeld. Mean? Body suit by Jake. Taxi driver. Typical New Yorker. But he's a Mets fan, and that's cool. Even though they whooped my Red Sox in 1986. All right, my Red Sox beat themselves in 1986. I get that. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the pain that never goes away. We, we know that one. Just let it die. I can't help it. I know. Oh, yeah. Here we go. How about another sound bite? Maybe some quick uh, celebrity birthdays. All right, all right, let this one go. All right. Excuse me. Hey, it's Kuta Yeah, it's quieter. Another barbershop scene. I love those barbers. Oh. Hey, what you want to make your hair look like this? Oh, well, wait, 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 hey, wait, 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 w
That's a good place. Oh, yeah. Man, woke up, hit me so hard. Right. 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 We got Dr. King right here. <laughs> Excuse me. How about that? Damn right. Because he's king. That makes me the friend. Makes me. The, you're the royal best friend. Ah, he is. The royal beard for it. I showed you, Clay. That's right. The king has spoken. Gotta go to the pot, see? That's right. That's right. It's the way to get in. He's older and wiser than we are. Oh, yes. Like a boy. Did you? I did. Gotta get in good with the old man, see? Like a boy. Like a boy. All right, folks. It is time to show off our next hunk of the day. And uh, I think you'll love this song. I remember when people used to wear this stuff, okay? They did. I swear they did. Eric LaSalle. That's right. He was, Eric to... he was a dick in this movie. Oh, yes, he was. He was a good dick. He played it well. He did a great job in this movie. Eric LaSalle. Eric LaSalle, you remember him on ER as well, folks. I know you do. Oh, yeah. Good actor. He has good range. Yeah, he does. And he's got great hair. I remember. Oh, I can't get that high. I have balls still. Oh, wait. Well, sometimes. Yours are in a jar. Don't lie. I know. They're in my wife's purse. Get it right. No, I'm sorry. Mine are in a jar. Well, oh, sorry. Got it wrong. Got it wrong. There you go. Give yep. yourself a big fat Kia fly. Give it to myself. That's then and now. Look at him. Still looking young. You know, a little hey, gray. All hail the king. All hail the king indeed. All hail the wise and powerful. Actually, you're honest, I don't want to do that right now. You know him, Dr. Peter. Did I who that was? Yeah, ER. Nice. I think his name was Peter. I didn't I, watch ER, so. I never did either. Oh. I think he should have kept the, uh, I think he should have kept the, uh. The Jerry Curl? Oh, absolutely. He should have kept that soul glow hair. I got mixed feelings about that one. Well, actually, I think the best hairdo ever, the Afro. Men and women of all races wore it. <laughs> the Wait most universal hairdo ever. The I'm sorry. Afro. I disagree. Oh. I disagree. Phenomenal hairdo. I disagree. It's definitely not the flat top. No offense. Hey. No offense. Don't hate. Appreciate hey. the fact that I can grow a flat top. Do doctor, you you wear it well. You wear it well. Thank I you, give, Doctor. I give you credit for I that, do my damnedest. Shaved head is best. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. It is time to bring out our babe, our next babe, in my opinion, the hottest of them all. <laughs> Squeeze me. I have to step out for a minute. This woman was so hot. Hot. Real hot. Damn hot. hot. Wicked hot. Oh, yeah. Sherry Headley. Oh, we love her, boy. Good morning, my neighbors. Hey. Hey. Yes. Yes. Fuck you, too. Well, I would with her if I was single, of course. Randy Watson. Sexual chocolate. This is sexual chocolate right here, is this not? The prince. Look at her then and now. Oh, yeah. Look at her now. Wow. Man, that's a beautiful woman. man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Lisa McDowell. Makes me want to howl. Oh! That is my queen. It's good to be the king. That is my queen. Mm, you wish. Indeed. Look at her the same. That is sexual chocolate. Oh yeah. You cannot tell me sexual chocolate ain't a wicked awesome band. Oh yeah. I'm done with that. I believe the children are our future. Thank you. Teach them well. Damn that boy. Let them leave. Uh oh. Uh oh. Unable to load photos. Not our fault. We tried technical difficulties. What are you going to do? Eh. Meh. It was perfect. Might not be getting too many facts today. Uh oh. I got another fact for you. Are you serious? Empty some brain cells. What, what, what is your name? Hoover? Yes. 
The way you suck things up. Yeah, hold it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I grabbed a good one. Oh! Dogfish head. 90 minute IPA. That means he's going to be passed out in 90 minutes because it's 9% alcohol 9%. by volume. That means it's wicked strong. Mmm, she's wicked hot. Proper apparatus, proper technique. Here we go. Do it. Oh, and a good pop. I'm going to sleep good tonight. Yeah, you are. You're going to pass out. That's what you're going to do. 45 degree angle, proper technique right here. Just like that. Hey. Have you drop yet? Sexy chocolate! Sexy chocolate! Sexy chocolate! I just throwed the bottle. I don't want to clean it up. Fair enough. Cheers and beers to all y'all pros, they say in Germany. Come by! And they say in Japan. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, you're good. That is good. I like that one. I'm going to take a sip. Go for it. Pass it around to the king if you want to. King, would you like something that's 9%? Try it, your highness. Put your hands together for Mr. Randy Watson. Put your hands together for the king. Yeah, I think the king's going to sleep good tonight, too. At that rate, <laughs> with, a, with a beer like that. Oh, yeah. I'll knock anybody on the ass. Ooh, hell, I'll go swinging with her. Ooh, doggy. If I was single, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, the king approves. That's all, all that matters. All hail the king. All hail the king. Even the prince has to hail the king. Oh, yeah. Everybody's got to hail the king. That's right. Oh, hell. Uh -oh. Here's, here's a, a good one. Here's a king of media, of uh, cinema. Hey. Folks, this is his first movie scene ever, believe it or not. And if we, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I believe you are correct. And we will stay quiet for this. This is so awesome, we will be quiet. We love Samuel L. Jackson. Yes, we do. So listen up, y'all. Play it! I is. Okay. Uh. Job. Thank you, Doctor. Hell yeah! Hey, you old today if in year. I'm going to America. I, let us go to America! <laughs> what do you think? Ah, yes, 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 my son. Hey! I'm, oh. I'm the son of a kid! Yeah, and I'm the son of a Oh, no. Bitch. I'm touching it. I will. You said it, not me. I did. Oh, what the hell? Let's bring him out. The star of the show, Eddie Murphy. We love this. You know, Eddie Murphy is actually a pretty damn accomplished singer. Damn good singer. We love them. As a Jewish white guy. How do you love that? That is awesome. It's Kunta, you know, from Kunta. Randy Watson. I have returned. Thank you. Just like my country. I have returned. <laughs> 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 oh. Prince Akeem. I'm looking a little uncertain there. Hey! Hey! Look at them! Hey! Now look at us! See? Yeah, they look better. I get yeah, it. They, we don't have as much bling as they do. But hey, I can brush my own teeth too. So can I. But I have people to do that for me. And my woman's hotter than her. <clears throat> There's just one thing though. Oh, now look at this, folks. Yeah, yeah. We gotta mention them. You know who that is, right? No. That's a very young Cuba Gooding Jr. getting a haircut. Oh, That's yeah. right. Cuba Gooding Jr., when he had hair. I have one thing that you do not have. What's that? I have the royal wipers. 
Yes, you do. I do not know how to wipe my own backside. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, look, I have my own money. And when I say he has his own money, I have my own money. Wow. I literally you have done my own this. Money. You hit the jackpot. That's right. That's yeah. the royal family right there. That is my mother. And your father. And my father. Hail the king. All hail the king. All hail the king. All hail king. All hail king. <laughs> I am not going to be sober when this is over. No, you're not. Uh, uh, you got to love Louis Anderson. Uh, McDowell's. That's right. We, we, the Prince of Soul Glow work? Mm -mm. We... we we should have got the we should have got the Louis Anderson clip from there on his way to. The I Pacific know, Asia. I know. Oh well. Hey, what well, are you gonna do? Hey, perfect. nobody's perfect. If I was perfect, I'd be playing third base for the Red Sox because that'd be perfect to me. Okay. You're the only one would be perfect for. Hey, it, <laughs> it worked great for me. All right, what we got next? Oh, speaking of perfect, how about the perfect voice? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go there, I have something I want to show off. All right. Well, in the meantime, let me burn through some celebrity birthdays. Chris Jericho, Y two J. That's right, WWE wrestler, 43 years old today. Lou Ferrigno, you know who he is, don't uh, you, Mr. King? Even I know him. That's right, the Incredible Hook. Who remembers this scene? I know I do. You may, may enter. Sorry, folks, I apologize for the shaking. Listen up. What is this? Autograph. What is this? McDowell's. Place over on Queens Boulevard. I think he works there. My son works? <laughs> what is it now? I don't know. He moved downstairs. Apartment 1A. Best part right here. I'll tell you, folks, this is truly a wicked awesome movie. <laughs> what are you doing here? I received your telegram. What is a key? What does he remind you of, love doctor? How is your flight? Come full, I trust? Reminds me of the king. Nope. Talking about Arsenio. Oh, reminds me of me. Nope. Oh. People with big gums and small teeth. Oh, not as bad as Terrell Suggs of the Baltimore Ravens, thankfully. He, he barely had teeth. Oh. I want to knock his teeth out. I like that. Find oh. yourself to our royal suite at the Waldorf Astoria. And see that he puts on some decent attire. And I want you to bathe him thoroughly. Mmm. Look at this. Look at that. like that. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. What a punishment, eh? I know, right? I'll, hey, I'll drink to that punishment. Oh, so will I. I I'll bet even the king would drink to the punishment. Your Highness. Your Highness? There it is. I'm sure he would. Ah. Go with it. Roll that beautiful for me, footage. We played that so we could show you this. That's right. Because that what happened was this is when he arrived, folks. The king. King Joffy Jopper. All hail the king. All hail the king. All hail the king. Yeehaw. <laughs> yeehaw. There we are in Yeehaw, Texas. It's only fitting. The king's only been in America for a week and he already sounds like one of them. I know, right? I'm scared. What a royal family Look, indeed. Look, the family portrait. Me, mom, and dad. Bonus Adam. If I were black, of course. What's wrong with being black? I what didn't you... say there was. Hey, what you go black, you never go back is what they say. Thomas Jefferson said it, I believe. I... Did he really? I don't know. He may have. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson did uh, hook up with a black woman, though. This is true. That's right. If you don't believe it, read it up. If it's on the internet, it's probably true. Al yep. Gore will tell you that. Yep. Just like that picture I saw. Al Bill Gore Bill. invented the internet. Just like that picture of Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. Hey, you watch your hey, mouth. I will drink to that picture. And I will give you a big fat uh, GFY for that, you schlepper. Moron. Putz. Oh, wait, wrong movie. Ah, yeah. Hang on. Hang Either on. way, royal family. Go ahead. Hang on, that's us. Wrong movie. Sorry about that. Hey, part. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't point that at me. Oh, look at that guy. That's him nowadays, still looking mighty dapper at the age of eighty-two. Rock, rocking the mustache. Only we we know he is the greatest voice 
in Hollywood film history. There is, is no question about it. He's the voice of CNN. He's the voice of Darth, Darth Vader. Vader. That's right. It was it was such a shame. We knew he wasn't going to be black when he said, Luke, I'm your father. <clears throat> That's my thoughts exactly. Hey, you know. That's right. James Earl Jones. Why haven't we had him before? I don't know. I don't know. He actually did a movie called The Great White Hope in 1970. He did? Yes, he did. Where was I? Boxing movie. Where was I? Uh, you were half in, in him and half in your mom. Really? Yep. You were half sperm, half egg. So was I. Not in the same people, of course, but <laughs> we're Masonic brothers, not real brothers, you know? That's right. There you go. So, James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Like him. It's great to be the king, isn't it? It's a, like it's him. good to be the king. Like him, a legend of a man. Amen to that. <laughs> Squeeze me. Oh, yeah. I am not going to be sober. Good. Don't be. Uh, damn right. Hot diggity dog damn. That's James right. Earl Jones. What a <laughs> voice indeed. Hey, Nick Lachey is 40 years old today. 98 degrees. What a shitty fucking boy band. There you go. But. No, 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 no. Oh, really? Really? Oh. He married Jessica Simpson. Got to plow her. What a lucky prick. Look, BMA salute on that. From a GFY to a salute. That never happens. That's the first one of those. It is the first one. And Nick Lachey. Hey, way to go, Nick the dick. Hey, maybe he had a, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe. He I, went from Hey, Jessica, tell us, uh, tell us how it felt. He went, he went from one extreme to the other. Exactly. We're running behind. Let's go. Vanessa McNeil, 33 years old. Heavily, as they said in, um, name the movie, you tell Mel that. Brooks, 1974. Um, Blazing Saddles. Yep. Hedley Lamar. <laughs> Hedy Lamar, actress, would be 100 years old today. Born this day, 1913. Oh, passed, okay. passed away in 2000. She's got nudies out there. Oh, yes, she does. I've Why seen them. Why have I not seen these? I will hook you up there. Hook the up prince. the prince. Of and course. the king. And the king. If we were single, of course. Stay the king. One of the greatest bands of all time, in my personal opinion. Crane's Clearwater Revival, Tom Fogarty, born in 1941, passed away in 1990, tuberculosis, 48 years old. African-American actress, phenomenal lady, Dorothy Dandridge, born in 1922, passed away in 1965, much too young. I think Brent Spiner did something with her once. No, wouldn't he like to have? A project, I mean. She died in 1965. It was a young Brent Spiner. Yeah, <laughs> really young. <laughs> How about Scarface? 43 years old, a rapper. Mary Travis of Peter, Paul, and Mary. Born in state 1936, passed away 2009 at the age of 72. Adam Dunn strikes out a lot. Cincinnati Reds and other teams as well. 34 years old today. Bob Gibson. There's a legend right there. St. Louis Cardinals pitcher. 112 ERA in 1968. Hall of Famer. 78 years old today. Spiro Agnew, vice president of one Tricky Dick. Born in state 1918, passed away 1996. Daphne Guinness. This is for you, buddy. Really? Daphne Guinness, 46 years old today. She is the heiress of Guinness Brewery. Ooh. Now you know. BMH Sloop. Oh, I give a love, Dr. Sloop. Hell yeah. As long as she doesn't run the ground. That's right. David Duvall, golfer, 42 years old today. Ed Wynn, phenomenal. Actress born in the state in 1886, passed away in 1966. Um, Eric, um, he was in the uh, second Twilight Zone episode ever. One for the Angels. Very Great nice. episode. I love my Twilight Zone. Jim Perry, um, game show host. Sale of the Century. No, that was Peter Tamarkin. Never mind. Uh, Jim Perry, he was on one of them. Jeez. Oh, wow. 80 years old today. How about this one? St. Louis Cardinals manager, Jason Cameron, and uh, Mike Taylor, and all you other Cardinals fans out there. I know you know this one. Whitey Herzog, born this day, November 9th, 1931. Missed one. I got one for all the Star Trek fans out there. Go ahead. Like me. Go ahead. Who likes Voyager? Robert Duncan McNeil played Tom Paris, helmsman of the Voyager, 49 years old today. I will drink to that. Mm. Bam. I'll take it with you. He was, also on, he was also on All My Children as a younger, as a, like a kid, I think. Like I would know that. I didn't either. I just happened to catch it. Go but ahead. anyway, let's bring out the last couple songs of this here show. Oh yeah, we got this is another great scene. You're gonna love this as we bring out the late great Madge Sinclair. Sadly passed away much too young at the age of fifty seven in nineteen ninety five. I'll be right back. Take my hat off to her. Oh yeah. 
She was phenomenal. You, you know, to... James Earl Jones and Mad Sinclair were in The Lion King together, too. As a king and a queen. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. Well, who was that? And she was beautiful. Um, what lovely skin the queen has. Arsenio Hall had it so right. Way to go, Sammy. Mad, Sin Mad Sinclair is good at playing. Look at that. Oh, at that wow. oh that's a nice one. I, good man, Doc. Love. There. See, Drop she it. was in Star Trek twice. Twice. Not only there in Star Trek Four, but she also played Lavar Burton's mother at one time too. Ah, see, yes. See, I hooked you up on that you one, did buddy. You hooked me up, and Thanks you didn't much. even know. I love this royal picture. That must be uh, input. Look, my parents, mom and dad. That's right. Lavar Black, of course. Hey, and the Prince of Zamunda. That's right. Donnie, sick of him. That's right. There we are. Then and now. Well, oh, yeah. Then and later, I should say. Or later than earlier or something. Early Lion King came out um, 1995. Four. Maybe it was 94. Yep. Coming to America came out in 1988. I turned 12 when it came out on video. Gotcha. Bam. Something wrong, I can't. 1985. I promise I will tell you when the time is. No, 1995 when it came out on video. I said, yeah, 95. I was 12. I know. I got you. On my 12th birthday. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. March 3rd, 1985. 95, you I said. Negative. What is going on? March 3rd, 1995, you were 12. Turn 12. I take it back. BMH salute. Jackass. He's not sober. No, I'm not. See? Third one. 9%. He must be a Colts fan. Hey! 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 Oh! Call him out! Did you just give a GFY to the king? Yes, I did! That, you know, where I come from, that would be a bottle over the noggin. Bring it on. I don't hit girls. Good. I don't let bitches hit me anyway. That look. <laughs> oh, man. There you go. Ooh, that. There she is. There it is. LeVar Burton's mom right there. That's right. What a milf, eh? <sighs> well, she was then. Hey, did you know she's Jamaican? <clears throat> I knew that. Jamaican mom. Yeah, mom. Did you know that? The king was married to the queen. Duh. Case, case in point. Duh. Case in point. Do not get me wrong. I love my parents. <clears throat> Even if I give them As a GFY, I still love them. I still drink to them. To Always, the king. To the king we salute. To the king. Folks, I think it's time we go ahead and close this out well. Hey, As go. I draw out a couple, um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Things. Just enjoy this for a moment. There we can. Go. Huh? I know. There's too many. Squeeze me. Come down. Now, don't forget that the bums that received the money, a lot of you know this already, from Prince Akeem, drops or, of the Duke brothers, Ralph Bellamy and Don Amici from Trading Places, which also was directed by John Landis, who directed Come to America. In that movie, Billy Ray Valentine, played by Eddie Murphy, of course, was responsible for the Dukes losing their fortune. Um, we, as we know, all characters in the barbershop, including the Caucasians, mm -hmm. the one that was, played by Eddie Murphy, wait Arsenio Hall, Clint Smith, did play his own role. Wait a minute, wait a minute, <clears throat> stop right there. And don't forget Cuba Gooding Jr. You mean to tell me I'm really a black guy? Imagine that. Ah, uh, what do you know about funny, you bastard? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Roll it. Now, when King J uh, Jaffe Joffer... Meets Lisa's father in the restaurant. He warns him to keep his presence secret from Akeem. As King Joffre leaves the restaurant, he says, Do not alert him to my presence. Wait, wait. Let the king repeat that. Oh, please do. Do not. Please read, king. Remember this part? Nice and loud and proud. Do not alert him of my presence. Bam! 
I would be with him like that. That's right. Yeah. All hail king. Oh, hail the king. That's right. All right, and don't forget that. Um, remember that dance scene? It was phenomenal. Performed by the royal dancers before presenting Prince Akeem's queen to be is a high tempo rendition of the dance from Michael Jackson's Thriller. Hang on a second. Which also was directed by John Landis. Hang on a second. Go ahead. That part that the king just that, that the king just talked about. Yes. Yeah. Right. Attend to my presence. Because James Earl Jones was also the voice of Darth Vader. As we mentioned earlier. That's right. That's right. The greatest voice ever. That's right. One of them anyway. No doubt. Now, the name of the fictional African country, of course, is Zamunda. This name was taken from a Richard Pryor routine mm -hmm. when he referred to a fictional African tribe of the same name. Remember when we had our Highland Knights edition? <laughs> we mentioned Red that? Fox to Richard Pryor to Eddie Murphy. How ironic. Indeed. Oh, yes. Um, now, as we mentioned, to prove the uh, question, this film marks the first time Eddie Murphy played multiple characters in the same film. Something which has gone on to be a trademark of his. Of course, we know Nutty Professor, he's done a phenomenal <laughs> job. Did you know that the working title of this film was The Quest? I did not. Did you know that Sidney Poitier was originally considered for the role of King Jaffe Jaffer? You mean somebody else could have been my father? I know, right? How about this one? Which I think would have been pretty good, too. Go. Oh. Vanessa Williams was originally considered for the role of Lisa McDowell. I could have been married to my to Vanessa Williams. You could have. Wow. Hey, I'll take Sherry Headley though. What else are you maybe maybe about? she lives up to her last name? I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> All righty. Um, actually, in the credits, if you look at the credits, folks, and I know you're gonna look now. Zamundan Film Commission is thanked. Ah, jokes on them. They don't. Ah, I tell you. Um. Did you know a director John Landis and Eddie Murphy did not get along, and Murphy vowed never to work with Landis ever again? However, they did reconcile, and Ed, Eddie personally thanked, personally asked John Landis to direct Belly, Beverly Hills Cop 3. Of course I did. Who do you think's under this white boy face? Exactly. Exactly. Um, what's funny is that, according to John Landis, it was actually... His idea to have Eddie Murphy wear makeup to play a Jewish man as a sort of payback for Jewish comedians wearing blackface in the early 1900s. Makes sense. We know how racist Hollywood was. I support that. And I, I definitely support that as well. And sadly, the king is out of beer. Uh-oh. But you know what that means, right? That's right. He's about ready to eat. Mm. You know what that means, right, folks? That's right. Folks, it's we're it's empty as a brain of and an average Yankee fan. That's right. All three of us. Folks! It's time to make a fetus to head out so everybody take care of a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drink and drive is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Kobe Bryant of ah! the Lakers. Ah! Or men Sorry. slapping women or animal abuse or racism or people that watch on bets or fake friends or anybody that supports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Sure. Things like that are just, just plain, plain stupid and definitely deserve a big fat G F Y. -Y. Folks, we're out of here. Time to go eat some chicken enchiladas. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye. 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 Give the king the last word. All hail the king. All hail the king.